it's me, so today I'm going to be doing my... What am I doing today? Hey everyone, it's me, so today I'm going to be doing my tanning tips and tricks. Okay, you guys, so here are some pros, cons, tips and tricks to tanning. So first, we're going to start with the con, because tanning does have one bad thing that happens. Obviously, your skin gets pigmented and everything, and like vitamin D is really good for you but the thing is tanning the sun's UV rays are really really harsh they're called ultraviolet or violet and they're just really 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 like harsh on your skin and that's why you're supposed to stay out of them that's why you wear sunglasses that is the whole reason why we have UV protection so just to talk to you guys a little bit about the cons of tanning and then I'll have all the tips and tricks um, just like disclaimer you guys because I know so many of you guys don't realize that there's like pros and cons to everything And I just want you guys to be aware of what you're doing when you do go tanning because I personally can tan in 15 minutes And I know that everyone else like there's certain people that are really pale or there's certain people that their skin tone Like their skin type does not absorb the sun like mine does and they just kind of burn and that's one of the things that's really bad for your skin so just like a little heads up I know that some of you guys aren't in the US but this is just statistics from the US in case you guys want to see like the US is pretty big and we have um, like so in 2004 over 50,000 people were diagnosed with skin cancer which not all of it was from tanning obviously but that tanning can cause skin cancer or can like help you get it especially if your family already has some type of skin cancer in the family and it runs in the family then you probably don't want to you know help just pick it up off your skin you know and then almost 8,000 people died of skin cancer so that's like a pretty like the ratio of skin cancer to the people that die with it is like you know decent because that's like 8k that's like 8,000 people that died of skin cancer like that is so sad and the fact that some people do that obviously not all of them were tanning but that does help with it so just try to be aware of what you're doing don't go tanning all the time try to keep your body like you know not always you know in the sun okay so the reason that your skin darkens is because like the dark the skin darkening uh, it's like your defense against the re UV radi radiation so basically when you're doing this it's like defending it because you've already gotten some UV radiation and you just want to keep your body like that way that's why you do tan but the problem is like so many people like over tan and tan too much and they don't know how to protect their skin while they're tanning or they don't know how long to stay out and they stay out during the hot the times that are just the worst for you to be out there so you have to always be smart when you're tanning because you want to protect your skin and keep it young because when you have a lot of like exposure to the sun especially in your chest area you get wrinkles and wrinkles are not always cute well they're never cute so honestly you don't want to be 20 and have wrinkles if you tan at 14 and you just tan like crazy so here are some tips for you guys because that was the con now we're going to show you guys some tips to tanning and some like helpful ways to stay out of the sun during certain times and just you know tanning tips so to avoid tan lines try to tan naked I personally tan with a thong and a like I actually don't even wear a bra when I tan but I tan on my balcony um, in my house so like I lay on my balcony floor so no one can see me and I just let the Sun like hit me for like maybe five ten minutes like ten minutes probably and I just do that like ten minutes a day because that'll just like if I have time during the summer if I don't then I just walk around out in public like honestly you guys don't even need to go and sit out and tan but I recommend just staying out for like 15 minutes because then you'll get like some type of sunlight that day the vitamin D and you'll also be getting some sun exposure to the UV rays but not enough to be like getting burnt and everything this will just give you like a nice little glow so another thing is I know that it's really hard for you guys to wake up super early during the summer but I recommend waking up at like nine or something and just going out then because that's when the sun is not that bright and or like not like the hottest um and but just stay out of the sun between 11 and 2 because or 10 and 2 like try to stay out between those times because I'm telling you guys the sun is the brightest then and that'll help like that'll increase burning and you're just not going to want to be out there so just to have a natural glow you want to use lotion after your shower to moisturize and prep your skin to get a healthy tan then you want to exfoli like exfoliating and moisturizing are really big important parts for tanning 
So after you moisturize, you want to exfoliate or use a loofah to get the dead skin cells away and keep your skin glowing. So what I would do for this is um, get a body scrub or something. Usually sugar crystals or sugar, sugar in general, you can like look up a DIY on that stuff. Or you can just use a lip scrub like... Um, I have a DIY lip scrub that you guys can look out for like it's like I'll put it in the description box It's like a scrub and I use it for my lips But I'm pretty sure you can use it for your body too And you also want to apply a very low coverage like SPF 15 to your body because you still want to have a little bit of protection But once that goes away, it can still get through it and a tip that I really recommend to you guys don't ever fall asleep tanning I know if you guys are getting tired Take a nap before you tan. Do not nap while you're tanning because you can get burnt to a crisp and that is not good because you don't want to like expose yourself to that much sunlight and when you fall asleep you're going to get a really uneven tan and then you're going to start peeling. So um, definitely protect your face. I recommend not even tanning your face at all. Just try to stay out of the sun. Remember the four key points that I have for you guys for this whole video that I just want you guys to take away from this is number one, stay smart when you're tanning because you do not want to get like skin cancer or any other like wrinkles or anything when you guys are so young and beautiful you guys want to stay that way the second thing is do not fall asleep while tanning and the third thing is to protect your face and the fourth thing is to just have fun when you're tanning but still stay smart so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys are ever looking for more tips to tanning then I recommend that you guys just google search it but don't go on websites that are like don't go on websites that aren't really credited because you want to get like doctor type of info from them because like this are these might not work for you guys my tips but these are personally what works for me and what I've heard my doctors or um, like dermatologists say so I just want you guys to like keep that in mind and if you guys ever want to look up tips on tanning then I definitely recommend going onto websites that have a certified like doctor person <laughs> that's talking about it or if you're looking up videos just kind of like search a video and you'll find something on there so i hope that you guys enjoyed and don't forget to lather up apply that sunscreen and stay out of the sun for more than like stay out of the sun during the times of 11 to 2. so i love you guys so much bye